Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Happy Monday to you guys watching this video. It is Monday, that means it's market outlook time. We're gonna take a look at the market this week uh, This for this upcoming week of FIFA Ultimate Team, look through some things, what we could possibly see in the game that could uh, that we can possibly pre prepare, for, prepare for early on in the week. And obviously you know what's coming. Uh, we already know what is coming. That is that messy player of the month SBC. We know that, that is guaranteed coming on Thursday, so I'm going to talk a decent bit about that today. But there's a ton of stuff coming today. We're going to take like a, a high level approach, looking at everything, not really the specifics. I'll do more specific videos later this week about all that stuff that could be coming. But again, this video we do every week, if you're unfamiliar, we do this video every week to kind of just get ready for what we could see on the market this week. Now, obviously, we're in the middle of team of the group stage. We have this promo going on, but it's almost overshadowed by the messy SBC and all that is doing to the market right now at this time. There are a lot of packs open this weekend. You guys know that a lot of these team of the group stage cards are pretty low. I got a nice lazy buyer here on uh, Sergio Ramos. I bought this at 280, sold it at 328. Uh, this Lewandowski, I bought at 300. These cool ballets, I bought, uh, I flipped them for about 10K profit a piece. Both of them, ooh, 127, GG. I bought that one for 100. Let's freaking go, man. That was a nice one. Uh, that was a GG on that card right there. So these Deluxe as well, I got today with the release of the SBC that came out. Um, the Quadrado SBC, I bought a lot of these for like 42 to 45K. Sold some of them at 50K as he rose up a little bit more later. And then just some other quick flips that we had. Still flipping a few cards. So that is my transfer list at the moment. And I do have some high rateds. Uh, I have some high rated golds for the Messi SBC. But again, high. Uh, speaking of high rated golds, we can start talking about that stuff first. Let's get into the messy SBC talk because uh, that is the main thing this week. I, I did a video a couple days yesterday, I think it was, on the messy uh, SBC, what I think the requirements are going to be, what I think it's going to cost, and how we can possibly invest for that. And you've already seen a lot of stuff on the market move uh, because of that SBC and people know that it's coming. Like A lot of flipping graphs that you look at, they kind of look like this. Uh, messy was 147 on Thursday. Dropped down to 1330. He was actually at 127 at one point today on PlayStation. Looks like he's almost going to get back to that point right now. All of Messi's cards are in the gutter. The inform is at 1.5. And this new team of the group stage item, this card is at 2.3 mil. Unbelievable. That's so cheap for this in this game just because people know the SBC is coming uh, and we'll talk more about this stuff later on this week as we can watch prices a little bit more but uh, a lot of panic selling in like all areas of the market happened this weekend because of this SBC and also because of the team of the group stage promo I mean you have icons that are down a ton look at this Rio Ferdinand 870k for this baby card he was 940 so that's actually not too big of a drop compared to some of the other cards uh, on on the market and some of the other cards that have dropped this week patrick vieira 1.5 uh petite middle this car was like at 1.1 this weekend yeah 1.1 mil is now under a million coins so the icons and the upper tier part of the market have really taken a hit because of this messy sbc and a lot of those people have put their coins into these types of cards in the last two or three days a lot of the high rated fodder is up 85s are up like 2k a piece from the cheapest uh these are up like two to three k a piece uh, and the 87s are starting to rise, the 88s are up, the 89s are up. If you guys have invested in high-rated golds, if you're sitting with a lot of them on your uh, in your clubs right now, I'm seriously going to tell you, please, please, please sell into the hype for these cards. Um, like some of the things that I think we could see this week leading up into the messy SBC on Thursday, I think we're going to see some more pack supply SBCs. And because that's going to be EA's attempt to try to make people make less more make less coins by supplying more high-rated golds onto the market during this team of the group stage promo. So I think we're going to get a pack supply SBC, a couple of them, probably like one on Monday, maybe one on Wednesday, something like that. But I still think these high-rated golds will stay high because I don't think they can require Messi for the SBC. I just literally don't think it's physically possible. There's not enough Messi's on the game for people to, to go and do that SBC. And Messi's price would rise up so much anyway. And so the people are investing in these high-rated goals because of that. High-rated goals and high-rated informs, I think I would take the money somewhere on Wednesday. Somewhere on Wednesday before the SBC comes out just to be safe, selling the hype. I do imagine these rising a little bit depending on how much SBC supply we get. Busquets is at 47K and I know people are buying him up from when he was 41. So that's the kind of stuff I would sell into the hype 
for this SBC. And again, we'll talk a little bit more about that throughout the rest of this week. But that SBC, the messy SBC, is literally looming over this market right now, and it's changing everything uh, about this market uh, in in kind of right now in this game. The next thing I want to talk about is also coming. It's coming earlier in the week, though. Road to the final cards, upgrades, and Champions League content. Of course, yes, it's a Champions League week. It's a massive week on FIFA. This week is probably, with the possible content that we could have, this is like one of the most full weeks of content that we've seen in a long time. We got Champions League, Road to the Final Cards are getting upgraded, Messi SBC, we have a promo going on in right now in the game, and we have other Player of the Months that could possibly be coming out. And Friday could start Footmas. Friday could be the start of Footmas. I think it will be the start of Footmas as well so looking through these road to the final cards a lot of them have started to inch back up in price some of them are low this weekend as there was some panic selling i was able to qu uh, quick flip a few of them the bala was 750 like for most of the weekend uh mares i got one at 250 i got another one at 280 sold them over over 300k uh for these cards right here if you guys have any of these these probably will trickle up in price into their games on tuesday and wednesday i would take the coins on these before the game for most of them for most, if not all of them, I would take the coins. Now, for somebody like John and Sancho, they're in a very interesting position. And I want to take a look at this right here. Dortmund, this is kind of a uh, graph or a, a, a write-up looking through all the possible scenarios of which teams could go through. So I want to remind you guys that Dortmund right now is in third place. But Dortmund has an easy matchup against Slavia Praha. And Inter plays Barcelona, the league leaders, uh, Barcelona or the group leaders. Barcelona is through. The race here is really between Inter and Dortmund. If Barcelona beat Inter um, and Dortmund beats Slavia Praha, obviously Dortmund will finish on 10 points. Inter will finish on 7. So there's some interesting scenarios in here. And I just want to remind you guys again, let's say Jad and Sancho. Right now, Dortmund looks like they could get in, right? Dortmund looks like they, they very well could get in. Um... This price right here, I, I don't know if it really could go up. He is kind of low compared to what his card was before. I wonder if people are scared that, that he will not get in. Um, I was looking for an inter. We don't have an inter uh, card. We do not have an inter card for um, for uh, Road to the Final, do we? We do. We have Handanovic. Handanovic is our inter card. So be very careful if you have a Handanovic. He's at an all-time high in price right now, 118k. And basically, he's the same price. As, uh, as Ter Stegen's Team of the Group Stage card, which is kind of baffling to me, but this is a live item. So I would be very careful with Handanovic, especially because it looks like out of those three teams, uh, out of those two teams, Dortmund and Inter, I might see Dortmund going on through because I think they could easily get the three points and um, um, Inter would have a tougher time beating Barcelona on that one. So be very careful with Handanovic. Let's say Inter loses. What's going to happen to Handanovic's card? He's going to get panic sold off a lot. His card is going to go down in price because they are going to be going to Europa League, which means his card will transition over to one of these yellow Europa League items, and it will continue to get upgraded, but it won't get an upgrade for the initial movement to Europa League, if that makes sense. So, like, let's say Inter goes down to Europa League uh, and gets into the next knockout rounds for Europa League. Handanovic will not get upgraded until they win in Europa League. So that's one thing I wanted to say. If any of these Champions League guys get demoted to Europa League, you might see their price go down, but uh, they're not going to get upgraded. So they're going to get upgraded later on in the year. Not really an investment thing right there, but possibly just something to watch. For all these cards, though, I would sell probably before the game. If there's anybody who I would not sell before the game, Sancho would be a close one. Uh, I think he can maybe go up a little bit further upon them getting into Champions League just because they're they're on the cusp, but they're on the edge right now. If uh, This is a card that I would keep a close eye on, though, because of um, where is Leverkusen? I want to look at Leverkusen's group really quick. Right here, Bayer Leverkusen, Juventus, and Atletico Madrid. It's between Atletico Madrid and Leverkusen. So Party and um, Wendell are the guys that we really want to look for in this in this team right here because i think we only have one atletico madrid player right i think so i think it's just party and wendell for leverkusen one player from each of those two teams yeah party yeah so party and um party and wendell is something we really want to keep our eyes on because these two teams are very close as well atletico madrid on seven and buyer on six 
So Leverkusen uh, will go through if they beat Juve. So Leverkusen is playing Juve, which is a tough matchup. I don't really think they're going to get the dub, but if they do, that would be huge for this Wendell card. That would be a situation where I think you would see uh, a possible investment scenario with Wendell. These cards are going to be moving during the games a little bit, especially for the guys that are on the cusp of getting into the uh, knockout rounds of Champions League or going down to Europa League. So I would be just be very careful with those guys. The general the general advice though is to sell before they get the upgrade or before they play their game because the upgrades for these cards are not actually going to come out until like Friday. Friday's going to be a big game of FIFA Ultimate Team boys. I'm re I'm really I really mean that. Thursday night or Friday, I think, is when these upgrades will get placed because the Europa League games are a little bit later in the week, and obviously they upgrade all the cards at once. So let's say Militao, you know, Real Madrid, they're going to get upgraded. They're going to get that upgrade. He's going to go to an 86. But people are going to be like, yo, this upgrade should be happening. They won. So people will start expecting the upgrade right after they win and technically cement for themselves a place in the quarterfinal or in the knockout rounds. Um, but people might start to sell out this card a little bit um, because of the fact that he has not gotten upgraded right away. And a lot of these cards are going to drop over the next couple of weeks as we head into Flipmas, which is a massive coin suck promo. People might sell some coins for some of these cards uh, to go do SBCs like a messy SBC. That's why you saw some of them drop this week. Uh, but they're not going to, after they get upgraded this Friday, they're not going to get touched until February. So that's why I'm telling you to get out of them. They could become an investment later on in the year. Uh, but for now, I think you just sell them, take your coins, and just continue to just monitor these cards' prices over the foot miss and over the team of the year time span as we uh, as we don't see a lot of action on the upgrades of these cards because Champions League is uh, kind of in the pausing stage over the holidays. So again, sell these guys before the games, in my opinion, for like 90% of them. If you want to watch the cards during the games, you should see them fluctuate a little bit. Uh, that could be something to watch this week as well. Other Champions League content, though, uh, we we'll probably will get UEFA marquee matchups, and I would assume that they would put in some of the big matches from this week, uh, like Inter and Barcelona is a huge match, again, um, for the, the Tuesday time frame. They could also throw in Chelsea and, and, and Lille. That's a big game as well. Um, for the Wednesday, they usually do one game from Tuesday and one game from Wednesday. We go back over here to the webpage and check it out. This is, I think, one of the biggest games on Tuesday. And then on Wednesday, I think they have to throw in this, maybe this game or this game. Maybe, I don't know, Bayern and Tottenham. I, I'm not entirely sure what they're going to go with. If they go with games that are really are massive for the group stage situations or if they just go for like big name teams playing each other, they could do Bayern and Tottenham. But I think they featured in a previous UEFA marquee matchups. Um, I'm not entirely sure about that, but, uh, we will see what happens with those, but that SBC coming out would definitely mean we're probably getting some special card requirements on UCL player cards. We're looking at Bundesliga players, probably, uh, especially from like, uh, you know, Dortmund, if they do get in, not, not Dortmund, uh, not even Bundesliga. We're looking at Serie A, excuse me. But basically if you just pick up any of the UCL rare players, uh, we're talking like somewhere around, if you can discard for some of those on bid, especially for the 80 and 81 rated cards, that's definitely a, a look up or a pickup in my eye, especially the common cards. We had an SBC that required just commons this week uh, and they rose up to like two or three K per card. So that's something to look at as well. Maybe do a little bit of a club stock um, early on in the week before people start doing that just to possibly get those in your club before um, those SBCs do come out like a UEFA marquee matchups. And then I, again, I mentioned the SBCs throughout the rest of this week. I think we're going to get pack supply SBCs this week, which is going to supply the team of the group stage cards on the market and the high rated. Um, and t speaking of team, of the group stage cards, I want to talk about that. Those a little bit right now in the, in the, uh, over here on Footbin as well. A lot of these guys just got low. Like right now, it's just after squad battle rewards. And these guys, the pack weight on these cards is honestly insane. Um, but you know what? EA never does anything by mistake, I believe. I think they go know fully well what they're doing. Uh, the pack weight on these cards from the 125k packs, uh, the pack weight has not actually changed since they came into packs on Friday at 6 p.m. UK. 7.4% chance of packing one of these cards from an ultimate pack. That is ridiculous. Just to remind you, team of the uh, or road of the final cards and ultimate scream cards were just over one percent both 
from Ultimate Packs during those promos. So 7.4% chance of packing one of these uh, UEFA Champions League players uh, is crazy. And that's why you're seeing some of these prices low, and that's also contributing to how low the market is. But watch these cards' prices going into their games on Tuesday and Wednesday. Tuesday and Wednesday, a lot of these Champions League teams play. Well, all of them do. Um, a lot of people believe that these cards are live items. I've told a lot of people, and I, I always try to make a point of this, please let people know they are not live items because they are not, but people are still out there believing that they are, okay? And that is going to reflect in some of their price movements this week. Koulibaly and Napoli have a very, not an easy game, but one of the most easier games. They play Gank early game, December on December 10th, Tuesday. I bought a couple Koulibaly's today because I feel like his card, people are going to believe it's going to get an upgrade and they think it's going to go from a 90 to a 91. I do think you'll see people buy up this card uh, after the game or during the game when they're winning. So if that's something you want to try to, to trade with, it's a bit risky, but it is something that you could do uh, with these cards this week is try to buy, try to find some cards when they're low and maybe watch them go up in price after their games. It usually works during these match day six games because people think they're going to get upgraded after these games because they advance on and they're guaranteed to advance on. So again, you know, some of those teams that are on the cusp of going in, I don't think we have any Dortmund players. We don't. Um, no, we don't have any Dortmund players. All of these teams are basically locks. Madrid, Napoli, um, PSG. Most of these teams, if not all, maybe maybe Ajax be the only one that's kind of on the edge. Uh, Martinez could be one to watch being on Inter. Watch this card's price. You know, if, if they have a, a big time game against Barcelona, maybe you see him go up in price. Another another thing to watch could be if uh, they have a big game versus Barcelona, maybe your Messi and your Tristegan actually drop. Stuff like that. Teams that win or lose on Tuesday and Wednesday, these cards could be affected by those prices um, as they are uh, um, in the game and people think that they are live items. I want to transition talking a little bit about the end of the week, though, Thursday and Friday. We talked about Messi. That, of course, we'll talk about even more later in the week as well. But when to buy these cards? I know a lot of people want these cards for their team. I have purchased the Harry Kane for my team. He's a fantastic card. Mbappe, one of the coolest dynamic images in the game. Cool Bali, great card. Ramos. I mean, a lot of people want these cards in their clubs, in their teams, in their ultimate team squads. When is the best time to buy these? I think the best time to buy a lot of these cards is probably going to end up being Thursday. And I say that for a couple different reasons. Thursday, the messy SBC is going to be coming out, right? That's going to be a lot of packs put onto the market. But it's not only that, it's also a combination with weekend league rewards. And with the pack weight of these cards being so stinking high... Um, I honestly don't think that there's going to be a better time to buy uh, before that day. There's going to be so many packs open on Thursday with rewards. Um, and you put on top of that possibly maybe um, other like marquee matchups packs and other packs in the game, especially with the Messi SBC packs. Because an, an SBC like Messi, you're going to have some major packs in there, probably some 50Ks, maybe even 100,000 coin packs um, for that Messi SBC that are going to be going to be coming onto the game. So I would be very careful with these team, the groups H cards, since their pack luck is so freaking high and they're getting packed right, left and center. I would really, really watch those card prices this week. I do think they'll kind of trickle down in price. If anything, um, all week, to be honest, especially if we get more pack supply, but that'd be something I would keep an eye out for this week is, and if you want to get one of these for your team, I would say, I would think that, uh, probably later on in the week, would be the move for a lot of these guys even the ones that are really really rare and that are really really not really really rare because like none of these cards are actually really rare um even the 90 rateds just because they're packed so much but a lot of these guys are going to make it into people's squads so i do think they will rise after this messy sbc and confusion do, ugh, do i i kind of want to buy this i have to buy it don't i 100k for cool bali is literally so cheap i'm going to list it up for a lazy buyer just in case We'll list it up at like 123. How about that? Let's see if we get a lucky bite on that card. Um, but again, a lot of these cards, people think they're live items and uh, they're going to get packed a bunch, a bunch, a bunch this week. So just be careful. Be careful with those if you are uh, messing with some of those. And then a quick little intro for Foot Miss. Foot Miss could be coming off Friday. So I want to look at last year's webpage and just scroll through it really fast and look at stuff that we had last year for Foot Miss. We have the daily countdown player squad uh, SBCs every day to build up to the December 25th. There will be three new player SBCs released every day. 
Uh, they were only 24 hours available. Um, so basically, they were you they were themed around uh, nation, league, and club. So we kind of could figure out the system last year uh, with the Argentinians ranked 11 in the world. So we that was really cool the way they did it last year. Um, so again, it's, there's a lot, a lot of SBCs that come out during Footmas, and that's going to be coming this year on Friday, I think. Since it started last year on December 14th, it would make sense that it would start this Friday uh, on December 13th. I think is Friday of this week. So again, it'll be interesting to see what they do for Footmas SBCs this year, or if they change the promotion around at all. But it's been an SBC-based um, promotion for the last couple of years. These are some of the cards that we got last year in SBCs. If you remember any of them, De Bruyne, Isco, Coutinho, Firmino, uh, Lacazette. A lot, there was a lot of popular SBCs last year. Human Son, Deli Ali, Rodrigo. Um, we had a couple objective players as well. There were a lot of popular SBC players last year. Fumas is a fun promo, uh, just to throw some different uh, guys in your squad. Uh, but the big problem last year was the overpricing of SBC. So we'll see how EA does this year with that. But I wanted to kind of give you guys a little breakdown of Fumas and get your guys' minds right for that kind of stuff. Investing for that yet? I don't think we can invest for that until we see what happens with the Messi Player of the Month. Because if Messi Player of the Month is stupid expensive and not as many people are doing it, or if it doesn't require high rated for whatever reason, or it doesn't require a lot of them, or even if there's just so much selling because so many people are investing in this SBC on Thursday or Friday, uh, that we could possibly start to think about investing in high rated golds then. But Footmas, Footmas is going to go up and down like this. The high rated and the informs, the requirements for those SBCs are going to be jumping up, up and down all the time. And there's going to be some easy ways to invest if we can figure out the pattern of which they're going to release SBCs during Footmas. So we'll talk about more of that stuff later on in the week. But that's your market outlook for this week. It's going to be a busy, busy week. I'll be honest. It's going to be busy. A lot of stuff coming out in the game. Probably some more content from EA. Just be careful with your coins. If you're wanting to trade, quick flips on out-of-pack special cards is really the move, in my opinion. Just to get ready for this messy SBC. Be careful with it. Maybe another player SBC coming during this promo. Maybe not. We'll see. Um, but I do think we will get some more pack supply SBCs as well. And then one last thing, we could get Player of the Month uh, Premier League on Friday as well. Player of the Month Messi coming on Thursday, Player of the Month Premier League coming on Friday. So those are my thoughts this week for this week's market outlook. Champions League will be fun. Uh, Messi SBC will be crazy for the market. We'll talk a lot about that later this week. And then another, another Player of the Month and possibly more Team of the Group stage content coming this week as well it's gonna be a full busy week of content on fifa so get yourselves ready get your game ready if you haven't grinded out the icon swaps yet i have 11 days to do those and with a lot of content coming i'm gonna to have to try to fit in some squad battles games to finish off uh the to finish off the the icon swaps i really really need to get those done i actually played weekend league for once this weekend as well two more wins to gold three and i am done i'm piecing out uh as you can see weekend league is almost over though so kind of Cutting it kind of close on the time, boys. If you enjoyed this video, though, smash a thumbs up. That is your market outlook for this week. Should be a fun one. Should be a good one. Comment down below if you have any questions. And, of course, subscribe to the channel if you are new. It's been Nate, the Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.